Is this powder from a grotto in Bethlehem a miracle cure for infertility and other pregnancy problems? Today I'm going to tell you the story about Our Lady of the Milk. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you some of the testimonies about this sacramental working for couples, so stick around until the end. The history of the milk grotto in Bethlehem goes back to the year 385 and is sacred to both Christians and Muslims. According to tradition, it is believed Mary and Joseph stopped in this cave while fleeing Herod, and a drop of Mary's milk spilled on the stone, turning it white. It is believed this also gave it special qualities to help mothers have children and produce milk. One must travel to Bethlehem to the grotto to get it, or a friend or family member can bring it to you from there. The powder can be mixed in a drink, and before drinking it, you are to say the following prayer. Lovely mother of the child Jesus and my mother, listen to my humble prayer. Your motherly heart knows all my desires, all my needs. Only to you, Immaculate Virgin, has your divine son given to understand the feelings that fill my soul. Yours was sacred privilege of being mother of the Savior, Intercede now with him, my dear mother, so that according to his will, I may be mother or mother of other children sent by the Lord. This I ask, Lady of the Milk, in the name of your divine Son, my Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Today, there is a beautiful church built around this cave, which is cared for by the Franciscans. But unfortunately, the Israel-Palestine conflict has drastically reduced the number of pilgrims who go there. In spite of this, I recommend people travel there who may benefit from a miracle from this devotion. Here are some of the testimonies written to the grotto of miracles that happened. Testimony from Jan and Gary Packerson, Cordova, Tennessee. Thanks to the devotion to Our Lady of the Milk Grotto, we have our little Mariah now. She was born March 5th, 2008. My mother went for a pilgrimage to Israel in April 2007. She sent me the devotion along with her prayers. Three months later, I was pregnant. This was after a miscarriage and three years of trying. I've been trying, with my husband of course, for a second one. Thank you, Our Lady of Thimla Grotto. Testimony from Carmen Correa Vergara, Grandmother. I want to give thanks, as grandmother of the newborn baby, to the Lord, for the miracle of motherhood, obtained through the intercession of the Lady of the Milk. My son Andres, 47, and his wife, Daisy, 43, married in the Catholic Church, wanted children from the beginning of their marriage, but found that the wife could not get pregnant. They went to medical and fertility treatments, but it was not possible to achieve pregnancy. The doctors concluding that she had endometriosis and that she would not be able to have children. Faced with this situation, they adopted a child who is currently nine years old. Having found out on a trip I made to the Holy Land in 2018 about the Lady of the Milk and having visited the grotto I learned about the miracles of motherhood that the Virgin Mary has performed. Back in the USA, I broke the news to my son and his wife and gave them the white powder that I had brought from the grotto. In 2019, Andres and Daisy visited the sanctuary of the Mother of the Milk in St. Augustine, Florida, USA, where they prayed for the gift of motherhood. However, it was not until June 2020 that my son and his wife began to occasionally take the white powder brought from the milk grotto. When they returned to visit the sanctuary of the Mother of the Milk in St. Augustine in July 2021, Daisy was already a month pregnant. However, she did not know anything. She started to feel nauseous and the symptoms of pregnancy, but she didn't suspect anything. It was not until she was four and a half months pregnant that she and her husband, Andres, began to suspect that it could be a pregnancy, which was confirmed by the ultrasound performed by the doctor. My son, Andres, and his wife, Daisy, consider it part of the miracle that during the four and a half months of pregnancy, 
without knowing that she was pregnant, she could not eat things that she liked a lot, but that could have potentially harmed the baby, like coffee, tea, wine, and other things. Every time she tried to take any of these things, she vomited them up. After 17 years of marriage and a normal pregnancy, on March 10th, 2022, Olivia was born, a beautiful and healthy girl. Alleluia. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. The miracle worked. Testimony from Helena. During my first day in Israel, we were invited to visit the milk garden in Bethlehem, April 2014. Our guide Thomas told us a story of what has happened in the milk grotto and informed us about the possibility to pray to Holy Mary when a woman was having problems getting pregnant. I knew at that time one married couple who was trying to have a baby for almost 10 years without any success. I began to pray the prayer given to me in the milk grotto. I was praying on a daily basis for this intention for them. Each morning, 10 times a Hail Mary, the third joyful mystery of the nativity of Jesus in Bethlehem. Not really knowing what would happen and if I would be successful. I think I am not considerable enough. But as far as we were told, many miracles have happened there. And I had seen many letters with pictures of newborns in the sacristy of the Franciscan convent. I began to pray. How big was my surprise when I met in the autumn of 2015 my friend Petra, and she told me that she is pregnant. The small baby boy, Michael, was born on the 22nd of May, 2016. I do not have enough words of thanks to the Holy Mary that my prayers were heard. I am thankful each day for the baby Michael, and so also are the parents. They are still in the position that they already believe the dream came true, but they cannot get enough of him. They are so glad to have him. It is unbelievable. Thank you, Holy Mary, for Michael. Love, Helena.